Welcome to our stock market briefing program. Today, we've got some exciting stories to dive into. First up, Nvidia has announced a 10 4 1 stock split, making its shares more accessible to investors and employees. This move comes after a staggering 800% gain in nearly four years, highlighting the company's impressive growth and dominance in the AI market. Stay tuned to find out how this will impact your investments and what it means for the future of Nvidia. Next, a study by AXA Investment Managers reveals that Asian investors are growing increasingly skeptical of ESG, environmental, social, and governance, funds. The study shows that doubts about the performance of ESG investments have risen significantly, making it the top barrier to investing in these assets. We'll delve into the reasons behind this skepticism and what it could mean for the future of sustainable investing in Asia. Lastly, shares of vaccine developers are seeing a surge in trading activity amid reports of bird flu outbreaks in humans. Companies like CureVac and Novavax are experiencing significant gains as investors rush to capitalize on the potential demand for avian flu vaccines. We'll explore the latest developments in the sector and how these companies are positioning themselves to address the growing health concern. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage of these stories and more. Yahoo US, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang spoke with Yahoo Finance about the company's robust demand and supply challenges following its first quarter earnings report. Huang emphasized that the demand for NVIDIA's graphics processing units, GPUs, remains exceptionally strong, driven by the immediate need for data center deployments. Despite transitioning from its current Hopper AI platform to the advanced Blackwell system, NVIDIA has seen continuous growth in Hopper demand, indicating a persistent market appetite. The complexity of NVIDIA's chips has made keeping up with this demand challenging, with supply constraints expected to persist into the next year. NVIDIA's first quarter results exceeded Wall Street expectations, with adjusted earnings per share reaching $6.12 on $26 billion in revenue. The company also announced a 10 to 1 stock split and increased its quarterly dividend, reflecting its strong financial performance and commitment to shareholders. Huang also highlighted NVIDIA's dominant position in AI inferencing with significant sales growth to customers beyond major cloud service providers, including automotive and pharmaceutical sectors. South China Morning Post, a study by AXA Investment Managers has revealed increasing skepticism among Asian investors regarding environmental, social, and governance ESG, investments. The study, based on a survey by Cicero of 12,000 consumers across Europe and Asia, found that doubts about ESG investments' performance rose to 35% in Asia in the past year. Investor awareness and understanding of ESG products are declining, with only a third of Asian investors fully aware of the ESG aims of their funds. Even those who discussed ESG investments with financial advisors showed limited improvement in comprehension. Jane Wadia, head of sustainability at AXA Investment Managers, noted that strengthening trust in ESG assets requires deeper investor understanding of ESG products and their mechanisms. Despite the skepticism, ESG ownership in Asia remains higher than in Europe with 39% of Asian investors holding ESG funds. The study also highlighted that climate change has become a significant part of investment policy for 80% of investors in the Asia-Pacific region, surpassing Europe for the first time. Yahoo US, NVIDIA has announced a 10 4 one stock split, a move that has generated significant interest among investors. The company's stock has surged 540% since early last year, driven by explosive growth in AI demand. NVIDIA's stock has seen astronomical gains since its IPO, rising from a split-adjusted price of $0.25 cents to over $939. The stock split, the first since July 2020, will see shareholders receive nine additional shares for each share they own, making NVIDIA's stock more accessible to employees and retail investors. Despite the split, the total value of ownership remains unchanged, akin to slicing a pizza into more pieces without increasing its size. NVIDIA's financial performance continues to impress, with first-quarter revenue soaring 262% year-over-year to a record $26 billion, driven by record data center revenue. The company also announced a 150% increase in its quarterly dividend. NVIDIA's dominant position in the AI market and its strong financial results make it a compelling investment, despite its high valuation. The AI market is expected to grow significantly, positioning NVIDIA for continued success. Associated Press, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, has issued a new rule mandating that by now, pay-later companies must provide consumers with the same legal rights and protections as credit card lenders. This includes the right to demand refunds and dispute transactions. The CFPB's rule comes after a two-year inquiry into the short-term lending industry, 
which revealed that over 13% of buy now, pay later transactions involved disputes or returns, amounting to $1.8 billion in 2021 alone. Major players like Affirm and Klarna have welcomed the regulation, stating that they already adhere to many of the standards set by the CFPB. The new rule requires these companies to investigate disputes, pause payment requirements during investigations, issue credits, and provide periodic billing statements, thereby offering consumers protections similar to those of traditional credit cards. Australian Broadcasting Corporation, Anglo-American has rejected BHP's third takeover bid valued at $74 billion, giving the mining giant one week to present another binding offer. Meanwhile, Wall Street experienced a decline following the release of minutes from the Federal Reserve's recent meeting, which highlighted concerns over the slow progress in reducing inflation. This financial update underscores the ongoing volatility in the markets as companies and investors navigate economic challenges and regulatory changes. CNN reports that Federal Reserve officials have recently expressed less concern about inflation re-accelerating after data showed progress had stalled in the first quarter. This optimism pushed the major stock indexes to new highs. However, Wall Street's nerves were rattled again when minutes from the Fed's latest policy meeting hinted that some officials might still consider raising interest rates if necessary. This uncertainty led to a significant drop in the Dow. Despite Fed Governor Christopher Waller's comments suggesting potential rate cuts by the end of the year, other financial leaders, like Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon, remain skeptical about rate cuts happening soon. The mixed signals have left investors uneasy, awaiting more concrete data to determine the Fed's next moves. Yahoo US via Bloomberg highlights the surge in vaccine stocks as retail traders react to increasing human cases of bird flu. CureVac and V's shares jumped 15% amid concerns of an outbreak in Australia, while Novavax Incorporated saw gains after announcing plans to explore an avian flu vaccine. Moderna and Pfizer also experienced stock increases following reports of discussions with the US government about developing bird flu vaccines. This trading frenzy mirrors past reactions to outbreaks like Ebola and Zika. However, experts caution that while the market is reacting strongly, it remains uncertain whether these illnesses will significantly impact revenue. The trend underscores the market's sensitivity to health crises and the speculative nature of retail trading in vaccine stocks. CNN reports that Nvidia's announcement of a 10-4-1 stock split aims to make its shares more accessible to individual investors. Over the past five years, Nvidia's stock has skyrocketed by more than 2,500%, with a single share valued at $949.50 before the split. The company's strong financial performance, including a 262% increase in revenue and a 462% profit increase year-over-year, year, has been driven by its critical role in the artificial intelligence sector. NVIDIA's processors are essential for AI systems, making the company a key player in the ongoing AI boom. Despite facing competition from tech giants like Amazon and Alphabet and dealing with U.S. export restrictions to China, NVIDIA's leadership in AI remains unchallenged. The stock split, set to take effect on June 10, is expected to further boost investor enthusiasm and solidify NVIDIA's position in the market. New York Times NVIDIA, the microchip giant powering most artificial intelligence applications, has experienced an extraordinary surge in revenue and profits, driven by the burgeoning interest in AI. A year ago, the Silicon Valley company predicted a massive increase in chip sales, and the reality surpassed expectations. Nvidia's stock soared, propelling its market capitalization to over $2 trillion, surpassing even Alphabet, Google's parent company. Recently, Nvidia reported a staggering $26 billion in revenue for the three months ending in April, tripling sales from the previous year for the third consecutive quarter. Net income skyrocketed sevenfold to $5.98 billion. The company also projected revenue of $28 billion for the current quarter, significantly higher than Wall Street estimates. CEO Jensen Huang confidently stated, We are poised for our next wave of growth. Nikkei Asia Japanese companies engaging in dialogue with investors have seen a notable boost in market capitalization and other performance indicators, according to a study by Japan's Government Pension Investment Fund, GPIF. The world's largest pension fund, managing assets worth 224 trillion yen, $1.43 trillion, analyzed interactions between 21 external asset managers and their target companies over six years. The study found that companies discussing board performance with asset managers had a 6% higher market cap and an improved price-to-book ratio. Those addressing climate change set better decarbonization targets and saw better financial ratios. 
Additionally, discussions on diversity correlated with higher market caps. Smaller companies benefited the most from these engagements. GPIF has been advocating for such dialogues since 2017, which have doubled in volume by fiscal 2021. Blue chip companies like Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group and Mizuho Financial Group were among the most engaged, while subsidiaries and companies with a single major shareholder were less likely to participate. Yahoo US Nvidia's stock surged by 4% after the company reported first quarter earnings that exceeded forecasts and announced a 10 4 1 stock split along with a dividend increase. The tech giant posted adjusted earnings per share EPS, of $6.12 on revenue of $26 billion marking a 461% and 262% increase, respectively, from the previous year. Analysts had predicted an EPS of $5.65 on revenue of $24.69 billion. In the same quarter last year, NVIDIA reported an adjusted EPS of $1.09 on revenue of $7.19 billion. For the upcoming quarter, NVIDIA anticipates revenue of $28 billion, plus or minus 2%, surpassing analysts' expectations. The announcement led to a 4% rise in NVIDIA's stock during extended trading on Wednesday. Yahoo US, NVIDIA's stock saw a significant boost after the company reported first-quarter earnings that exceeded forecasts, announcing a 10 4 one stock split and an increased dividend. The tech giant recorded an adjusted EPS of $6.12 on revenue of $26 billion, marking a year-over-year -year increase of 461% and 262%, respectively. NVIDIA's data center revenue surged 427% to $22.6 billion, driven by the growing demand for generative AI training and inference on the Hopper platform. Despite a decline in revenue from China due to halted shipments of its most powerful chips, NVIDIA's diverse customer base across sectors like automotive and healthcare continues to fuel its growth. The stock split, effective June 7, is expected to enhance NVIDIA's market presence, potentially positioning it for inclusion in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.